In this module, we will simulate uh, locating a solar wafer using its uh, four sides. Once we have located that solar wafer, we will uh, inspect for defects. We are going to use the polygon tool to do this. The polygon tool requires a very high contrast, so we will start by auto-adjusting the exposure and making sure we have a good contrast. We can then teach a reference object and polygon tool appears right at the bottom. If I click on that, a single click on the image starts the polygon tool and then another right click ends that corner, another right click again draws another corner. A polygon can be open-ended or close-ended. If I get to the same starting point, then a hand shows up where I can double click to close my polygon and the settings appear on the right hand side. Notice uh, the thresholds on the right hand side or the score over here which is very low or not there at all. This is because the polygon tool uses uh, edges or contrast of those edges to locate the sides of the wafer. As soon as I start moving my sides inward close to the edges you will notice that that score on the right on the right hand side will start becoming much much better which is exactly what I want. So we're gonna try and move the sides inward until we see a nice solid green line which is what we are looking at right now. Now we can look at our result parameters and our polygon is very nicely located. I should uh, go over some of the parameters which is the position search. So right now that's set to 5 pixels. What that means is that it allows a very small uh, position variance from uh, where you had initially placed the tool. If you want more variability you can increase this to let's say 50 pixels and now you will see that you have more variability to move this up and down. The flexibility search parameter merely defines how much the shape of that polygon can deviate from what you had taught. So this is working pretty well right now. Now within the tool itself uh, there is ability to do defect detection and the way this works is the tool draws internally a pixel counter, a strip of pixel counter along the borders of this wafer and you specify what the width of that strip is. It's set to 10 pixels right now by default and the margin defines where that strip should start from after locating the side of the polygon. So it's going to be 2 pixels inward right now and you can increase that if you want. Intensity merely defines what's the change from black that you're expecting for that chipped corners. So you're looking for white pixels right now and how many pixels minimum do we need to detect for that to be considered a defect. So right now uh, the polygon has a full score but th there is a defect so we see a red. If I go to the good polygon without any defects or the good wafer then uh, that comes to a solid green and that's how the polygon tool works. While here we are only uh, getting a pass fail which we can allocate to the digital output results so since the polygon tool is under the detailed inspection then you know the detailed inspection output which is output number two can be simply allocated or it's already allocated by default via ethernet or ethernet out IP though you are uh, able to get all the four sides of that polygon or rather all the four corners so if you want to locate these four corners of the polygon we can provide you with that position data via ethernet or ethernet IP and we will communicate uh, or display in another module how communication works from the inspector so uh, look out for that next module to see how you can communicate via Ethernet.